Confession of the Maniac Shipilov, Killed, Serving Time in a Colony. The history of the Arkhangelsk Chikatilo has changed the practice of keeping prisoners. In front of me sits, as he was called, the most charming serial killer of Russia, Sergei Shipilov. His broad smile, revealing rows of even white teeth, became a death trap for twelve women. Shipilov raped and killed, serving a term in the colony, he was escorted for good behavior, so that he could freely leave the territory. Not long ago, Shipilov confessed to the murder of two more women and was sentenced to 9.5 years for this. But what will happen if any term is added to life? It's almost like multiplying by zero. Now Shipilov says that he has done a good deed, he took two old hangers on himself in exchange for a small service from the investigation. But was allegedly deceived. The MK observer talked with Sergei Shipilov in prison now. Six of the Orenburg region for life sentence prisoners. Arkhangelsk Chikatilo. Reference MK, Sergei Shipilov committed murders in the city of Velsk of the Arkhangelsk region from 1995 to 1999. The first term he received for rape. Six months later, in a colony for good behavior he was unlocked. Twice a week, he traveled outside the penitentiary institution in a dump truck, he took out the waste. Just at the time he committed his crimes. Shipilov offered the women who were at the stops to give them a lift, instead he went to the forest, where he killed. As a tool I used a rope, sharpening and a knife. He buried the bodies. The youngest victim was 16 years old, the oldest minus 49. In 2000, a court convicted him of 12 murders and 9 rapes. In the colony, Black Dolphin is 18 years old. I am Arkhangelsk Chikatilo, the interlocutor says instead of the traditional presentation. And smiles, looking right in the eye. Shipilov is tall, of excellent physique and generally looks pretty good for his 60th birthday, he celebrated his anniversary in May in the colony. What is it, it does live the same as in the photo from the courtroom. How can it be preserved? We talk with him in the psychologist's office, it is already a tradition to interview life sentence prisoners there, as in the place most suited for heart-to-heart -heart talk. Why Chikatilo? Are you his follower? Remind me why you were here, I deliberately pretend that I am new to his biography. No, I'm not a follower of Chikatilo. So they called me for killing women. But the motives for me and Chikatilo are completely different. The peculiarity of my case is that I did not commit crimes for the sake of pleasure, but for the sake of the crime itself. And I did all this while in the zone. Another caveat, I have no witnesses in the case. In fact, I condemned myself having given all the evidence against myself. I did this because I wanted to stop. Tell us about your life before you started killing. The most ordinary life. Nothing remarkable. Born in Arkhangelsk. Mom died when I was seven years old, and my sister five. Father raised us. He brought into the house various women with whom he drank. With this, your hatred of women began. I didn't hate women as such. He did not like only those who agree with men to drink. I myself got married early, we had three children, and now six more grandchildren. Sixteen years with his wife have lived. My wife did not drink, I loved her. After the army he worked first as a driver, then as a locksmith. He mastered many different professions. That is, everything was fine. Why then decided on the first crime? Here is how it was. I was driving along the road, I saw how the girl was late for the bus. I planted her. It is about 20 minutes to go to Arkhangelsk. But while we were driving, we talked, liked each other, and instead of working we came to nature. In the evening I took her home, she was intoxicated. I didn't he hide, I was not afraid of anything, everything that was between us and nature, happened by mutual agreement. And she worked at the market, traded with non-Russians. They paid her 20,000 rubles a day, with that money. So she asks, who will compensate this amount? I took out the money, gave it to her and left. And two weeks later the police came for me, they took me to the department. It turned out she wrote a rape statement. 
Then she offered to take this statement in exchange for a ransom. But the police said there was no turning back. And you got eight years for this rape? Yes, but not only for him. I was tried for three episodes. It so happened that I was hung all the rape that occurred in that area at the time. One episode, someone beaten by a woman, got to the hospital. The second episode, the girl returned home all in the mud in the morning, her aunt wrote a statement, but she remained a virgin, as it turned out. In general, they gave me a deadline, caught into the zone. For good behavior, he went to the tank, began to work on a cesspool machine, we called it a barrel, and then the same thing happened. What exactly? He brought a woman. In a drunken state, she said that she would go to the zone and tell me what I was doing. I had a hopeless situation. He killed her. And then what? Same. And after the second murder, I just could not stop. A disease, not a disease, I do not know what it's called. Tightened. I already automatically looked for women. I didn't even need to persuade, women always pecked at me. He killed nine, although they charged twelve. I gave the police a hand, showed where the corpses were buried. Without this, they would not have caught me, because there was no evidence and not a single witness. Shipilov does not lie about the fact that he did not leave evidence. The only thing the investigators got hold of when they were looking for a maniac was for the words of a partner, the second driver of the cesspool machine. He said that on the day of one of the killings in the cabin there was no handle on the passenger door. Shipilov unscrewed it so that the woman could not open the door and run away. But there was not a single person who could see that someone was getting into Shipilov's car, or who could see a barrel in a forest belt. Already after Shipilov came under suspicion, investigators found that his house watches and jewelry taken from the victims, he gave them to his wife and aunt when he was on vacation from the colony. But about how he voluntarily told everything and showed the burial, the sadist does not tell the whole truth. The first days after the arrest, he flatly refused to admit guilt. Even tried to commit suicide in jail. And when he was pumped out, he reconciled to the fate of the suicide bomber and began to tell everything. First I drew a diagram of two burials, then four more. The remaining detectives found themselves according to the descriptions given to them. Nature Maniac. In the Shipilov case, there are photographs of all twelve women. None are like the other. Only two of them are very young, the rest are middle-aged. They are all representatives of different professions, one was a teacher, the other was a technician in a local police department, the third was a housewife, mother of five children. But there were also those who could be attributed to women of easy virtue, including those convicted. In the area where the maniac was operating, the regular bus went rarely, and it seemed safe for women to get into a non-passenger car, but into a cesspool vehicle. Did you kill only those who got into your car? You know? Only those who agreed to go with me to drink vodka. Only them. Whoever went with me to drink vodka in the forest stayed there. Of my nine victims, seven are dysfunctional. The investigator asked me, did you choose specially disadvantaged ones? Not on purpose. But as it turned out, you are going along the road, you are talking with a woman. If it is normal, then you will bring it to the house and help as much as you can, and if not, you will bury it in the forest. Do you think you have the right to judge which of the women is worthy to live, and which is not? I don't think so. Should not have killed, of course. But it happened. I read a lot of things, I wanted to understand. But the answer was never found. The nature of the serial killer remains a mystery. What happens, a person does not control himself. He kills, but it does not depend on him. It can't he stop, and the test it. I understand these people from my bell tower, and there are people like me in Black Dolphin. Then what do you think? To execute. To treat. I do not know if this is being treated or not being treated. I have not been treated. Now I would not have agreed to any therapy, I do not need it already, and in my youth I could try it. If you suddenly went free, would you continue to kill? No, now I am in control of myself. 
And what are the guarantees? None. How can I give them? But I'm not going to go out. In May, 60 years old, I am a pensioner. Why do I need to be free? What am I going to do there? Who do I need? In freedom, I'll live a maximum of 10 years, delving into the beds. And here up to 90 easily. I was interested in the average age in Russia. In the wild, men do not live much. And behind bars it turns out that longer. And in my family are all long livers. So I'll live in jail for more than a dozen years. I will observe from here what is happening in the country. In general, I try not to get stuck in my position. I read a lot, I'm curious. Here people live each in their own way. Some complaints are written every day, others have gone to religion. And I found a niche for myself, I grow carrots and repair books. Then where do you plant carrots? Is it right in the camera? I virtually grow it, I write out magazines on gardening and truck farming. Do you also repair books virtually? No, it's real. I love to read at all. And the most interesting books are always battered. So I began to repair them. Since 2002, I have been doing this on a voluntary basis. I do not work in the colony in production, there is little use for me there, because I am not suitable for sewing. I benefit more in books. Money cannot be returned to people. Reference M. Key. On May 25, 2016, the Arkhangelsk Regional Court found Shipilov guilty of two murders. The first was committed in the evening of October 23, 1995. Then, according to the verdict, he attacked a woman unfamiliar to him at the school building, whom he noticed at a bus stop and chased. He struck deadly blows with a metal bar, dragged his body into the bushes, took possession of her bags of food, food waste and two cans of cream of no value. The second happened on one of the days from June 1 to June 6, 1996. Then, as indicated in the verdict, in a car gas minus 33073 offered to give a ride to a woman who was walking alone along the carriageway. Shapilov brought her into the forest, poured a liter bottle of vodka into her mouth. I dug a hole, threw a woman there in an unconscious state and shot a self-made smoothbore firearm. He took off earrings worth at least, non-denominated rubles and took money from his back minus. In 2016, you were convicted of two murders committed in 1995 and 1996. Why did you remember them? Conscience tortured. Not a conscience. And it is not my crime. But I really gave confession to them, I was taken to Arkhangelsk, I stayed there in a pre-trial detention center for almost a year, until the court passed a sentence. Would you like to ride? Take a break from the Black Dolphin with its tough regime. They promised me that if I confess to the killings, they will transfer me to a colony closer to home. So I agreed to take something else. This is not my crime, but what's the difference? In my position, absolutely none. I have a life sentence. And the period that was appointed in 2016 for these two murders, nine and a half years, was immediately extinguished. I already served him. As a result, they did not transfer to a colony closer to home. No. And now I have to pay the money. They promised me that there would be nothing, but in court it turned out what would happen. The court awarded rubles in compensation for non-pecuniary damage to the victims. But I'm not offended. For those, my affairs I would have to pay much more. What is money? I can to get people back with money. They mean nothing. What will you pay if you do not work in the colony? They will calculate from pension. And there is nothing more to take from me. Does your family visit you? Grandchildren were brought recently. He looked at them, was glad. Aunt was. Say goodbye to her, she is 80 years old. And I am grateful to her for everything, especially for the fact that she supported me all the time. During his years in the colony, Shipilov seemed to have forgotten some of the circumstances of his terrible deed. He convinced himself that all of his victims drank with him. However, during the investigation, 
He told in detail how he poured vodka into them and even came up with a device for this from a plastic bottle with an overlay. But about new accusations, maybe he doesn't he lie. The graves of the victims were never found. In the verdict they wrote, I quote, the corpse was not found solely for objective reasons of a natural and technogenic nature, which over the past 20 years led to an irreversible change in the situation at the crime scene. The sites examined with Shipilov's participation could undergo very strong changes, including as a result of the washing out of the ground by meltwater, landslides, etc. And, by the way, the only material evidence is a CD with an audio recording of Shipilov's confessions. But this is not the main thing. After the story with Shipilov, the colonies actually stopped the practice of deporting convicts for rape and murder. No matter how approximate their behavior, such characters cannot leave the territory. Since then, there have been no murders committed while serving a sentence.